Welcome back to the studio. I'm working on this little chili pepper wreath now. And a little spicy heart. But this is this is adding a fun little greeting to this little entry date. And right now I had I'd previously washed this in with alizarin crimson plus liquid. And now that wash-in part is dry. Now I'm coming back and adding some darks in there with magenta plus alizarin crimson plus liquid. That just gives me some darks within the depths of those chili peppers because the wreath is made up of lots of individual chili peppers and these are the long pointy thin chilies. And so now I'm coming back with, this is cadmium red deep, and now this is my oil paint, this is the opaque color. Because what I want to do is, I paint this pretty thickly. I want a lot of texture on here, so that if, when this is dry, if somebody's that blind could come and feel this and, and recognize that that's, that's chili peppers. I have a friend who's blind and she just loves to feel paintings and if, you know, if people's hands have just been washed and they're clean, there's no problem with that. You know, museums don't want people touching the paintings because tons of people come through and that, that would be a problem, but if somebody touches your painting now and then to feel the texture, that's not going to be a problem. And I just, this again is my bright brush, it's a square brush, and you can see how I'm just using the flat edge of that to shape my chilies. And now I'm using pure cadmium red light for the highlights on these, these peppers. They kind of go every which direction. But my, anyway, back to my blind friend. Her name is Diane, and she'll feel a painting. She, oh, I can see those chilies. I can just see, see the wisteria. And she um, lost her sight several years ago, but as a child, she was able to see. So that makes it easier for her to visualize. I just can't even imagine, like Helen Keller, how in the world somebody could connect feeling to the sight and shapes of things if they've never experienced seeing it. It would be hard. As artists, you know, we are, my whole life is centered around the ability to see and visualize things. That would be very difficult not to see. I admire Diane. She's the most positive person, just She says, just because my camera lens isn't working doesn't mean that I can't see and enjoy things. She's just got a delightful attitude. But I just used the, the paint to kind of sculpt the chili peppers. pop out over the over the door. I have to be very careful while laying my color on there because that blue underneath is still wet. And if I press too hard then I pick up that that paint on my brush and it then it muddies my the color of my chilies. But you can see that I can even with this broader brush I can make some very fine fine strokes. The brushes artists use are very individual. And each artist likes different. Some like round brushes, some like filberts. I really, once I discovered the bright brushes, I I'm sold on them. I use I use a couple of rounds, uh, smaller brushes, but for the most part I use the bright, that square brush. Just works well for the way I paint. Again. Everybody's different. And just because I use them and like them doesn't mean that, that you will. 
just each have to develop our own individual styles and, and likes. That's one of the reasons that I think sharing is so important as an artist because we can all take the same materials, look at the same scene, and we'll all come out with a different painting. So why not share our ideas? There's no need to hoard secrets because we're all different. We're all individual. We're all going to do things differently with the same materials, the same information, the same knowledge. So don't, don't, don't feel like you have to hide and, oh, I can't tell anybody this, you know, or they'll be able to do what I can do. We're all individual. God made us all individual and very, very special. And so, so share, share with others. But you can see how adding that dark in there helps to give depth. There's all kinds of chili peppers. My goodness, you go to Santa Fe and there's green and yellow and red and all shapes and sizes. And I'm, our friends always call Jack and I bland and blander. We do not like spicy food, so <laughs> Santa Fe is not an easy place for me to eat. Because everything is all spicy and southwest and just didn't work for our palette. Now, I'm taking some of my door color, which is phthalo blue plus white, and I have saved it, and I'm, I want to come back in and make a few little indentations within these chilies where I got some of them a little too thick. So I can just come back in, and again, I saved my paint to the left side of my palette it will remain there usable for several days by the time I'm finished with a painting. It, it lasts long enough to, for me to finish a painting. And so then if I need to make any corrections or like here, come back and just refine my chili peppers just a little bit, I can do that. I've got the paint. I don't have to worry about mixing the same color. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So there's our chili pepper wreath, our heart-shaped wreath. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and also visit my blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others I do. The link is in the description below. It's also on the addresses on the final frame of my video. So you just have a wonderful, wonderful day today, and if you're an artist or actually just anybody, you know, give, share, just, God's given us all gifts, and it's our responsibility then to, to share those with other people. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thank you again for visiting my studio.